Welcome to my work area. Most of the co most common question I get asked probably is what do you grow your orchids in or what media should I grow my orchids in? And it's a very very hard question to answer. Everyone has different conditions. Everyone waters differently. Um, waters at different times. There's lots of different variables. You might have it in a different sort of area in your orchid house. Uh, your orchid house may be constructed of a different material which helps hold the moisture in or lets it dry out a lot quicker. So I, even myself, never, when I'm going to repot an orchid, have a preconceived notion as to what type of pot or mix I'm going to put it in. And that's why I'll show you my little area here where I do my work. Um, one thing I always have on hand is some sphagnum moss and that's there often for um, orchids that have been in distress, lost their roots uh, and it's a good medium for uh, helping to get new root system going on a plant. Also good for back bulbs um, or little divisions to get them going and seedlings. Now you notice I've got a lot of these trays here. They're actually kitty litter trays uh, and I find them very handy. So that one I've got my sphagnum moss in. This one is empty. I'd use that for um, putting all the media in when I'm pulling a plant out. Put it to the side. This one I've got bush moss which I would use for mounting and I always have several of my pine bark mounts on hand in case I decided that it's not doing any good in the pot and I need to mount it and I just use my trusty fishing line as well for doing mounts got that on hand as well um, Right, in the next tray, I've got some peat, charcoal and large bark. The next tray, I've got large bark and charcoal. It's extra large actually, I use that for me bigger cat wheels. Then I've got some medium bark and charcoal. Then I've got some small bark and perlite and charcoal. And in the bottom one, that's probably the most commonly used, and that's why it's in the big container. We have medium uh, bark, we have perlite, and we have charcoal. Whoops. And they will nicely sit in there so I can grab whichever one I need. Now as far as pots go, um, these are what we would call our standard pots just high sides, reasonable amount of holes in the base of them and all different sizes. Then we have our squat pots, squatter in height, tend to have more holes in the bottom for better drainage. Dome pots in squat, the dome in the middle helps um, the water to run to the side so it doesn't stay as moist in the middle where most of your rotting happens. Then you get the low ones like these which are good for dendrobium, selogenies, that sort of thing, which haven't got a big root system. Maybe some of your bulbar films. Um, yeah, so a different variety of squats. Another squat I use a lot is this fella. I grow most of my bulbos in that type of pot and uh, with a bark mix on the bottom and sphagnum moss in the top one third. Different sizes in them as well. And these are one of the most used pots for me now. Uh, since about 70% of orchid species are epiphytes and we tend to grow them in pots, we tend to root, rot the root systems off them. Um, and we, have, we struggle to water them properly because they don't dry out 
quickly and easily enough in normal pots so I use these a lot the big slats um, I use for our Stanhopias for our Catlias, Lalias, uh, some Angracum and that sort of thing then I go for these ones which is a finer mesh uh, ones with finer roots and I'd use a bit smaller mix for I use these pots smaller Catlias on Sidiums I like these fellas with the slots in the side just helps them dry out a bit quicker on the smaller on Sidiums and if you can't locate these Here's one I made, and all I did was a, use a one millimetre angle grinder and just some, run some slots down the side of a normal pot. Uh, drilling holes will do the same thing, helps them dry up quickly. And then we have smaller ones, I use these for me Draculas. Uh, if you're heavy watery you could put things like a Sarcochylus in them, uh, you could put small Dendrobiums in them, uh, Mazda Valleys if you water a lot all different applications depending on how you actually water uh, smaller mesh ones again good for them Draculas, Mazda Valleas, Pluros, anything like that and even smaller ones uh, good for little seedlings that like to dry out a bit quicker or if you water heavily you can put smaller Pluros and things and that sort of way so to my way of thinking um, as far as what you pot your orchid in. It depends when you look at the root system how it looks. Um, if it doesn't look good, change your mix, change your pot, try and walk, work towards getting a good root system. That's the most importantly fundamental thing in growing your orchids. Good luck with it.